Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about a rather common request that I get for workflows. That is, reminders when a contract is up for renegotiation or a subscription needs to be renewed or an appointment needs to be reminded, something like that. And this technique that I'm going to be showing now works on all those scenarios, of course. As you see, I've created four appointments. Since the calendar or the meetings list here does not have the new UI, I have to go to the new UI and create flow, or I can just jump over to flowmicrosoft.com and log in and see my flows there. I'll show you if you don't have that open, I'm going to show you how to get there. You go into a list with the new UI, such as the Contoso products that I've been using before. And there you can go into flow and see your flows. And then you get to that my flows list also. All right, so now I want to create from blank a new flow. And eventually I want this flow to run every day. I'm going to use a recurrence trigger for that. But that's a bit troublesome to test with. So instead of starting with that, I'm going to start with a new item created because that I can do easily. And I'm just going to do new file. And when a new file is created in SharePoint, that's the easiest one to test since I am in SharePoint. So I'm going to be using the regular site that I've been using before, and I'm going to just use the shared documents. So when something is added in shared documents, then I'm going to run the next steps. This whole trigger is going to be replaced with a recurrence trigger, of course, but this is good for testing. So then I'm going to get all the items in the list get items. So I'll get all the items from a SharePoint list. And the list I'm getting is again the same site. And I'm getting the meetings. As you see, I don't see the meetings here um, for some reason. So I'll just enter the name of it there. And then I'll go into the next step. And that's going to be a and apply to each, so like a for each loop there. So I'm going to get the value, that is the SharePoint items collection. And for each of those, I'm going to make a condition to check if that appointment has the appropriate date. So I'll add a condition. Let's go straight into advanced mode here, because this is not going to be so simple. And I've actually prepared this before. So I need to check this. This is uh, the formula. I'm going to explain it quickly. I found the tip here on this article, which I will link also in the demo article, if you want to go into details here. So what I'm using, for example, is item. That's the current item. And then the name of the column that I'm checking, event date in this case. And I'm taking the first characters of that, which will be the ISO formatted date. And then I'm using the out UTC now function. I'm comparing those two. So this condition will be true in for two of those items, the two items that are today, right? So, and then I'm going to add an action, if that's true. Add an action there, if yes. If those are true, then I'm going to send an email and using Office 365. And I'm going to just send that to myself for now and then specify a subject and a body. So I'm going to just call it meeting reminder and get the title of this appointment. There we go. Put that in there. Make sure I have a space in between there. There we go. And just like a body, please prepare something like that. But of course you can be, make that dynamic also. So that's all I'm going to do now. Let's just collapse that now. So we're running when the file is created, we're getting the items and we're applying to each. And the apply to each is, of course, the send email. So let's make this a bit more easy to understand. Send emails. On this condition, we can change that to check if item event date is today, right? That's what we're doing. All right, so that's rather self-explanatory. So I'm just going to name this flow now. Send meeting reminders. Create the flow. 
now that was done properly, I'm going to go in and manage my flows, send many reminders. Now this is going to get triggered as soon as I add a new document here. Just create a new PowerPoint presentation. Go out of that. And what should happen in a few seconds now is that I should get two emails. Let's go back to the inbox here. We can manage my flows and refresh this. On here, I can see if it has been run or not. There we go, 25 seconds ago it started and it took four seconds. So that's the, the first document that did work the first time. Meeting reminder number three. Let's go to my inbox and see what happened. That was number three and number two. So those got sent as they should. Excellent. So now we have a reminder workflow that works. I'll go back and edit this workflow now. And I'll remove this trigger when the file is created. I don't want that. And instead, I'm going to add another trigger, which is in recurrence. And that should be run once a day. And then I can go and say when exactly it should run, what time zone and what start time. But I think you get the, the points. I don't have to fill out those then. It will run anyway without those. But I think you understand the concept. And now that's going to run once a day. So there we have a reminder workflow. And as you see, it's using a reminder and then it's SharePoint to Outlook. So that little icon there explains what's going on. Thank you for watching this demonstration.